Hey, this is Sam Weinbach <laughs> from Road Trail Run. Hey, Sam, what do you have to say to us? Hey, uh, this is Sam. We're up in the High Uintas Naturalist Basin. That's Mount Agassiz behind me. And we've got the brand black tarantula here, a really cool shoe from a small brand in LA area with their chops and performance running. We're out hiking on some rocky stuff, but I've run it a ton. I'm gonna tell you a bit more about it. The tarantula, the most misunderstood of spiders, actually a really gentle creature. And the tarantula. Thanks, Eddie. We're gonna take a look at the brand black tarantula, a stunning looking shoe from the Southern California based brand. Uh, it comes in this, also in this off white color. It has a super critical jet lawn foam midsole similar to hyperburst and upper with uh, welded on uh, fiber uh, zonal fibers and a wonderful fit uh, it's really an all-arounder uh, their brand black is partners with vibram and they have an excess track outsole here that's kind of a general purpose outsole you're going to see uh, during the rest of the review that it is performed magnificently as well as the rest of the shoe Sam from Road Trail Run here. It's windy. We're up in the high Uintas for a hike. This is uh, the Naturalist Basin, and this is the Tarantula from Brand Black, which is an LA-based firm, LA area-based firm that's known for street style, street style, uh, type sneakers, fashion, very edgy stuff. Um, and the guys, Billy and uh, David, both are, have a performance running shoe background. They were in the early days of Skechers Performance and actually Skechers helped, set up, helped them set up the company, but they're independent now. So the Tarantula is an all around shoe. I've been, I've run almost 30 miles in them um, and hiked uh, to date in three days. I've run the road, I've run trails, I've run dirt roads. It's a very broad based platform here with a Vibram XS Trek outsole. Uh, actually, Vibram um, Brand Black is, is uh, serving as Vibram's kind of unofficial design studio. They've done a bunch of neat stuff for Vibram. And below the foot, you've got a Jetlon midsole, which is a super critical foam, very similar um, from the same kind of sources as uh, Skechers. Uh, hyperburst and it feels very much like hyperburst a bit denser a bit firmer but a very very lively rebound here on all surfaces the upper is zonal fiber so we have TPU cords that are welded support is outstanding in the front the midfoot uh, uh, on everything I've done even this hiking which is a bit on the rough side maybe at the limit uh, for the shoe because you do not have a heel counter but you have that stable, super broad heel with here a the foam kind of creating the heel counter and the upper is separated, if you will, from this inner collar. Uh, you got a thin tongue. I'd like to see them work on the laces a bit, maybe a bit more substantial laces. They're a little, a little fussy, but they don't come untied or stretch much. So what am I seeing this shoe for? Well, it is $225. This is a super premium option, but I'm finding it super, super versatile. Uh, the fit is true to size for me, a little pointy in the front, but even on these trails, because of your wide platform, you've got a lot of agility. Um, it's, it's a beautifully put together shoe, very versatile. So you really could take this shoe, do just about anything. I see it as a very nice recovery shoe, door to trail shoe, and also uh, a long trainer. Uh, it took about five or six miles for them to kind of soften up, get a bit of flexibility in those flex grooves here. But now uh, they're moving right along. Yesterday it was road and trail, today some hiking. So we're going to keep going here. It's just beautiful up here in the high Uintas. The Tarantula is an 18 millimeter forefoot, 25 millimeter heel shoe, seven millimeter drop. So it's not a super, super cushioned shoe, but that broad platform and the jet lawn provide a plentiful cushion. And there's also plenty of rock protection while it remains very quiet on the road due to that large contact area. In terms of weight, it weighs 10.75 ounces or 305 grams. So that's right in the class of a premium road shoe or 
a more general purpose uh, trail shoe su such as the S Solomon Sense Ride or some of the Sauconies. The rock protection is very decent and those wide lugs also make it smooth on the road. This is a very quiet shoe. So the rear area and the jet lawn give you lots of nice rebound as well. It's a very dynamic ride and that cantilevered heel gives you plenty of big cushion and rebound on the downhills, although I found the heel a bit heel heavy. Moderate trails that I'm running on and of course for the road, uh, all that excess trek up front really provides some stability. There's no rock plate here, but for this kind of western single track trail, they are superb and then you can instantly take them over onto the road with, and pavement with no problem over on the road I was surprised really how quiet they are given the outsole coverage they got more flexible quite quickly the excess trek is not overly firm and it's well segmented here. of course you can style in them uh, as brand black is kind of also in the fashion style business but this is truly a high performance door to trail shoe I think it may be the best I've run this year it's right up there with the Exodus 10 uh, from Saucony which is heavier and has maybe a more kind of trail suitable outsole. This is really an all-purpose outsole. I don't think I'd take it in the mud though. Um, so this is a very exciting shoe from a brand you probably haven't heard of. Uh, the guys say, you know, they're they're trying to make an impact. They're not in the, what I, what they call the members club or the members only club of, of uh, running shoes. They got attitude. They got the experience. This is the first of their performance running shoes and it is superb uh, they're going to have others we're going to have a full multi-tester review real soon on road trail run but this is the brand black tarantula on sale now at brand black 225 dollars